Welcome back guys in today's this video we will discuss this week NEO stock analysis and predictions. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click the subscribe button at the bottom right and subscribe to Growing Wealth and hit the bell icon, so you can get our videos in very first moments. The period from February 10th to March 8th was painful for NEO investors, with its stock falling 44% during that period, but it wasn't NEO's fault. The root cause was a general sell-off, in U.S. tech stocks due to higher U.S. Treasury yields, and the electric car company, which was up about 1,300% in 2020 was one of the victims. One of a Deutsche Bank analyst who closely follows China's electric car industry said earlier this month, after NIO reported fourth quarter results, that the company's revenue was largely in line with expectations, and its guidance for the first quarter was impressive, so there was no reason for the sell-off in the stock to continue forever. In a research note sent to investors on March 2, U's team raised their four-year sales, estimate for NEO by 6,000 units to 96,000 units. They also reiterated their $70 price target on NEO at that time, and saw the stock weakness as a buying opportunity. U.S. Treasury yields did not stop rising after the report was released, and that's not something anyone other than the Fed chairman can change. The sell-off in U.S. tech stocks also continued for several more days, and Neil has been falling from March 2nd to March 8th down nearly 8% in that period, but as you predicted Neil is declined during this period became a buying opportunity. Neil jumped 17.44% on March 9th, its shares were essentially flat on March 10th, and rose another 11.4% on March 11th by Thursday's close. Neo is $46.03 stock price had essentially regained $46.11 level it opened it on March 2nd forming a perfect V-shaped. We won't brag about how accurate the prediction is, and indeed no one can predict the stock market's movement, but as one of the analysts who follow Neo most closely on Wall Street, his logic of studying Neo is worth paying attention to. On March 10th US team held a virtual investor meeting, with NEO's CFO on recent investor concerns, and summarized the key points, in the near term NEO management remains confident in its demand trajectory, reaffirming it does not see China May Tesla Model Y materially hurting sales. The team said, looking ahead, NEO line a multifaceted growth roadmap with increasing volumes, and higher software services usage in respect of volume. NEO is formulating plans to enter the mass market segment in the next few years with a new brand in China, which will be positioned similar to Tesla's upcoming Model 2, a $25,000 vehicle. Moreover, NEO is also getting ready to expand internationally in Europe later this year, with a tailored approach driven by local insights in conjunction. NEO's management is garnering strong traction with its battery as a service offering 55% take rate and is on track to launch its Autos ad subscription in Q1 of 2022 along with its ET7 flagship sedan. Based on these use team read rates their $70 price target and buy rating. Entering the mass market category. Neo's core business will always be focused on the premium ownership experience, but the CFO made it very clear the company is formulating plans to enter higher volume, plus lower price point segments in the next few years with a new brand. This new brand will essentially be positioned similar to Tesla's future Model 2, a $25,000 vehicle as smart EV offerings trickle down to the mass market. By using a separate brand, the existing Neo brand can maintain its premium reputation, while the company goes after higher growth and believes it can deliver differentiation through technology and user experience. While the exact approach has not been finalized, Neo is open to partnerships. But we think, given their strong capital position, it could also consider building up a business organically, leveraging existing software powered train technology management highlighted, it does not want to follow existing approaches by many automakers, where they make similarly styled vehicles for their mainstream luxury brands, near term competitive concerns are overblown management reiterated, and continues to see no material impact on its demand from the Tesla Model Y price cut earlier this year. In conjunction, the CFO emphasized that NEO delivers a more premium luxury ownership experience relative to Tesla ESPS 25-30% higher in China, 
including the interior design handling suspension and post-purchase service example battery swapping convenience. This leads to very strong brand recognition 80% brand awareness now in China, 50% referral rate among existing owners, thoughtful about European expansion. NIO is on track to sell vehicles in Europe later this year, we think Norway will be first market. Volumes will be low but longer term. NIO aspires to capture 10 to 15% of the premium segment in Europe, lower than its China target of 25 to 30%. The CFO emphasized that there will not be challenges related to brand awareness, and also related to culture, which will require a strong local management team and a custom tailored go to market strategy product wise. NIO feels very confident. It can deliver competitive offerings given the China EV market is already much more cutthroat. Example BMW 3 still sold close to 20k units in Europe last year, yet most consumers in China would not even consider buying such an old product. If you enjoyed this video, leave a comment below and please hit the like or share button. We'd really appreciate it.